What's going on everybody? It's your boy Dwayne Retro Gamer is I and today is all about a smartwatch. So you guys know I'm not really all into buying like expensive stuff. It's not really my thing. I really want to just like buy something that I really like and that I can use and that is compatible. So I was looking up this. This is the wheel F U I I have no idea how to pronounce this thing, but as you guys can see, what comes in the package, first of all, they're gonna ask you, are you happy with your package? Are you happy? not have i don't know yet let's figure it out also you get your instructions how to set it up and you also get how to disable the strap because this is supposed to be like a an apple watch and all of that so we'll see how it works out and as you guys can see kind of looks like an apple watch also pretty cool we'll figure it out we'll figure it out and also guys what comes in the pack you get your charger you get your watch and let's just see how good it is Alright guys, so what we're going to do right now is go on in and we're going to type in Very Fit Pro. You're going to click get down here at the bottom. It may look a little different in the uh, Google Play Store. Now if you look right there guys, look at that. That says 3 out of 5 stars. Now is it a good app? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh... So we're going to go ahead and click open. Alright. So it goes over to the app. This is very fit pro. I like the app. I like the look of it. So it asks, uh, would you like to access your motion and fitness activity? Yes, I would. So go ahead and click, click OK. That was about notifications. So I have things hooked up into my Apple um, ecosystem. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the active energy, heart rate, sleep analysis, steps, and that is walking and running distance. Use now. Now it's gonna be looking for the watch itself. There it is right there. Click on it. Boom. Now down at the bottom, as you can see, it says confirm device. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Binding device, bind succeed. I am a boy, Damon. I am a boy. So let's purr that thing on up. Allow that watch to discover some stuff. I don't know what it said. It went too fast. And I ain't feel like waiting. Your boy was born in the year 1980. Rick it, Rick it, five. 5'10. Rick it, Rick it, 5'10. I'm being annoying, y'all. So, I am 199 right now, fat boy. Got to get this thing down some more. All right, so that is how you set everything up. Um, as you can see, here is the front of the, um, the application. And it's basically just activity, sleep, you know, how you slept at night, your heart rate, all of that type of stuff. So, I'm going to give my honest details about this watch right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about this willful smartwatch for the Android and the iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about the good and the bad of it. First of all, I'm just gonna kick it off with the bad. I'm an iPhone user. The problem is, is that I, I cannot do the things that I actually wanted to do on the watch that I bought the watch for, which is number one, text message. I can receive texts, but I cannot send out a text, which makes no sense to me. But they say that if you have an Android phone, you can do that. So it just may be something that Apple, you know, always, you know, just just completely always messes up for some reason. I mean, just like with the whole xCloud thing, we'll get on that a little bit later. Also, you can't see post. Like, let's say if a Facebook message comes up or let's say Instagram or something like that, you'll see who said what, but you won't see what the actual text was or what they actually said. You'll see that John Smith sent you a message but you can't read John Smith's message. That's something to take into consideration. The pros. What I really do like about this watch is that it's still a smart watch. You still get all of that, you know what I'm saying? If you're not really worried about the notifications and things like that, and you still wanted to receive, let's say, a text message or something like that, you can still receive that. You cannot receive phone calls, but you can reject phone calls. And I just think that it's just built off of the technology that's put into the watch. You're not gonna be able to do all of that. If they could do all of that for $35, then there would be no reason to have an Apple Watch 
or a Samsung gear or whatever. It's a pretty decent watch. I would not say that you shouldn't buy it. I think if it's like your first smartwatch or something like that and you don't really wanna jump all the way out there and pay anywhere from 199 upwards, then I would say go ahead and buy it. I would also say that it's really comfortable too. It's a very lightweight watch. As you guys know, it's like I always say, it's not a lot of components in there. It's not doing a lot. So you'll definitely be happy with your purchase, I believe. It connects solely through Bluetooth. There is no way that you can go out and put this watch with your phone carrier or anything like that. Like I said, you would need an Apple watch if you could do all of that. Now on the back of the watch, you can change the bands on it. And I'm not necessarily sure, I guess I should've did my homework, but I'm not necessarily sure if you can use Apple watch bands for it, but you can change the band if you need to. And I'm pretty sure that if you go on Amazon, it'll lead you right to that. It does have a screen protector on here also. Doesn't come with it, but you can buy one. The heart rate is actually kind of accurate on here. So if you're looking to, you know, monitoring on your heart rates and stuff like that, you should definitely go ahead and, and check that part out. The app part of the of the watch is the only thing that I've used it for is steps. I, I mean, the steps on my like, let's say my phone, I bought this app on there and I mean, they kind of equal out. The Fit app is a little bit off than the one that I actually bought, but I mean, it's, it's, it's only like maybe a hundred steps off or something like that. It's nothing crazy. So do I recommend the watch? Yeah, I recommend it. Go ahead and buy it, man. If you want to go ahead and get you a smartwatch, jump, in, jump into that that whole smartwatch thing. But if you're looking for something like I'm kind of looking for, which I'm hoping that my, my family go ahead and buys me one for, my, you know, for Christmas or whatever. I mean, I've been pretty, pretty good, you know, lately. But, um... But if you're looking for something like that, that's a lot more advanced, a lot more technical and things like that, then I would definitely go for an actual smartwatch made by Apple, Samsung, all of those big name contenders out there. Go ahead and do that. Don't even waste your money on it. This watch is waterproof. Got a little water on it today. Still ticking fine. That's good to throw in there. Also, I don't know what else to say. So guys, this is Dwayne. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any questions, concerns, as you always do, I know you guys will because y'all like to ask me a lot of questions. Go ahead and leave question below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace.